and Environment Agency, NEA, in, and uh, partners have recently held their second quarterly technical work, work, working group meeting in the extension of period of the Global Climate Change Alliance, GCCA, approach project. The meeting mainly focused on the GCCA component one, which targets the institutionalization of the integrated coastal zone management approach and related climate change adaptation. Maria Macham has more details of that in this report. Global Climate Change Alliance, in partnership with the National Environment Agency, convened a day forum to discuss an action project called GCCA Plus Climate Resilient Coastal Marine Zone Project for the Gambia. Funded by the European Union through the Gambia EU Corporation, the project focuses on the climate resilient coastal marine zone of the Gambia. Haruna Job, GCCA Plus project coordinator, said members of the technical working group have been resourceful in this project. Since the inception of this project, the GCCA Plus, and uh, we have uh, occasionally come up with issues which are usually dealt with in depth, providing the necessary guidance from members of the technical working group. And we are happy today that uh, we have come to the end of the project in 2022, and now we are moving to the extension period of the project which will take us until November 2023. The National Environment Agency's Program Manager for Environment Quality, Bori Mansa Demba, explained during the discussions that the project component on the review focuses on integration, its importance and the challenges. You see, integration here would, uh, by extension, mean that, look, our focus, yes, basically will be on the coastal. But what we all believe is that most of the problems that we are faced with uh, along the coast emanates from the upland. So this is why uh, the research aspect will, uh, is very pertinent as far as uh, the, the, the implementation of the project is, 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 is concerned. Because the research aspect will build a bridge of activities that normally, the poor activities that normally uh, happen upland and as the cause, and then now uh, see the effect along the coast. The Global Climate Change Alliance is a flagship initiative of the European Union to help the world's most vulnerable countries address climate change. The initiative contributes towards achieving the overall target of at least 20% of the EU budget spent on climate action by 2020. Reporting for I